Hello, this is Chris Menard. If you're pulling data from a website into Excel, for example, I have Wikipedia running. I'm on this Wikipedia page, states and territories by population. When I scroll down, this information is starting right here where it says start information. I want to put that in a Microsoft Excel file so I can crunch the numbers. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to jump back into Excel. I'm going to go to the Data tab up at the top. We have a group here called Get and Transform Data. So I'm going to go to Get Data from Other Sources from Web. It's going to ask me for the URL that I just copied. Just going to simply right click and paste it, click OK. It's going to go find that web page and then come back and tell me what tables were available on it. So here's the navigator. We put that in the middle of the screen. And I'm going to just do a little clicking around here so you can see this. That's not it. That is not it. That's what I wanted right there. But just to show you this, if I click here, if you see this information here, when I jump back to Wikipedia, that came from right here. So that's how this is working. So it is working correctly, you just have to know what you want to pick. So I'm going to go back here, click on the word load, and it's going to throw it into Microsoft Excel for me. What's also really nice is when it throws it into Excel, by default it puts it in as a table. So let me just close this. I'm going to get rid of some fields that I don't want. I really don't care about the rank. I'm going to right click and delete them. I don't care about equivalent country in this example. I don't care about this other information. And when I say it throws it into a table, if I click over here to the right, <clears throat> data, review, view, if I click inside the table, table tools, design. So it does put it in as a table, which is what I like. One little issue that I have is if I want to sort by population, I go to a sort Z to A, so I should see the most popular state at the top. So what I need to do first is if I scroll down, it pulled everything in there, including this information down here. And again, I will jump back to Wikipedia. So I don't care for this information down here. So let me jump back into Excel. I'm going to highlight and delete this. And I'm hoping to end up since the header row is row 1, I should end up with a total of 51. If you notice right now, I've got 53. I'm going to lose, because I'm only worried about states, I'm going to lose the District of Columbia. And for now, I'm going to lose Puerto Rico. And we are at 51 states. One little issue I have is when I click here and I do a sort Z to A, you can tell it's not correct, because it's some of them are numbers and some of them are text. It just doesn't always come over correctly. So watch this trick right here. I'm going to come over here, type the number one. I don't care where you type the number one. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to highlight what appears to be text and numbers mixed in together. I'm going to hit the arrow for paste. I'm going to go down to paste special. I'm going to select multiply and I'm going to click OK. Now everything's a number. Little trick I know. Uh, let's just make these. Now let's try that one more time. Click largest to smallest. Now it's working. One more try. Let's go smallest to largest. Working. Let's go sort by state. And there I go. And I could also, if I want to, since it's a table, come over here and find out the difference. And the difference is from the year 
April 1, 2010 to July 1, 17 equals that number minus that number. Watch what happens. If you recall, I call that a calculated column. I don't have to autofill. Everything's in there. Anyway, that was data, get data, and I went and pulled it from a website. That is how you do that. Thank you for your time.